Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Fat Boy Diaries. I'm Cameron Grand, your resident fat day. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Fat Boy Diaries. I'm Cameron Grant, your resident fat boy, and today we'll be talking about the importance of laughing at yourself. Just sometimes in this life, we forget how silly we are and how much we we can let things go a little bit because sometimes I do laugh at myself and I do laugh at how bad I am. I do laugh at those kind of things. It Sometimes people make me laugh when they make those kind of jokes. It's all about whether or not they're trying to make a, a jibe at me or whether or not they're trying to get me to laugh with them because it's always, that's always the importance of laughing is if you were, if you're someone who just tries to make someone feel a little, like a little less um, sad about what's going on, especially in today's world, that's important, but you can't do that if you, you don't have a, a calm enough atmosphere around you to be able to laugh, because it's important. You gotta, sometimes you gotta vent out the frustration and sadness and depression that is existing in this current climate of this world, and laughter is a cure for make, for being sad all the time. I can tell you that for sure. It's why I've really gotten into watching a lot of stand-up comedy. It's something that I, I'm really passionate about, because my entire life I, I taught myself that it wasn't okay to laugh because the fact is if I laughed at myself then I felt like I would be proving that people right they that they were right about the situation that I, I was wrong and um, it would make me feel worse about myself and I didn't want I don't want to spread that to other people I didn't want to give them the satisfaction of laughing at myself because then then they would be like I told you and I was like you didn't tell me I learned my own appreciation of who I am and what it means to be the way I am so you didn't teach me anything you just were a jerk who I had, who, who held me from being the full positive person of myself that I could be. And I just wanted to really spread that message to you guys today because it is important to laugh at yourself, especially when you're navigating things you've never been part of before because it is scary to do, it's scary when you want to be an actor and you're acting with people you've never been with before and you can mess up. And sometimes the, those mess ups make you not get a job that you want. On those situations, you just have to laugh at yourself a little bit. You gotta learn the lesson that you taught, like, got from this, this, some, from this thing that you did. Um, I'm talking about auditioning for myself is what I, the thing I'm doing. Because um, sometimes I've messed up severely and I'm like, I, one of my first auditions, I wasn't aware of some, that being something I needed to work on, but I learned it in the room, but I, I was proud of myself for everything else I learned. So all I can do is laugh at this mistake and hopefully next time will be better. Because something that I'm inspired by, that, by Kevin Hart and what he said is sometimes you might get booed, you might get booed off stage, and sometimes that teaches you a lesson that's very important so you know what's funny, what's not funny, and sometimes it really really helps you adapt as a person. It's all about getting back up and trying to strive in this life because there are people who are funny who have really like sad, sad like backstories. Like Tiffany Dish was almost living in her car and she found funny to get over that and let her like bend out those frustrations of what was going on in her life. Evangeline Lilly is someone else I, I really admire. Uh, she acted she got the, the job and lost when she was living in a van. I, mean, I don't want to get to that level. I, I want to stay in a home. I don't want to get be homeless ever. So I've been really trying to invest and save more money because that's something I worry about. I have to be able to laugh at the, at the thought of being homelessness. Otherwise, I will never be able to get out of bed in the morning because I'm like, I, I can't go anywhere. I can't, I can't go pursue my dream. I can't risk that and not have a, a roof over my head. To that level, I, I there are things in my past that I'm grateful I went through to help me have the motivation and the belief in myself and the teachers and parents and family members behind me who taught me that it was okay to make a mistake and laugh off those mistakes because sometimes you laugh at things where you know it's not funny. Sometimes me, oh, I laugh at things that are not funny. I can tell you that for sure. Uh, if Don't invite me to a funeral unless you want someone in the background laughing inappropriate because when that kind of stuff, I laugh and it's people are like, this is inappropriate, you should be laughing at a funeral. It's like, it's not laughing. I have I have levels of crying. I have normal levels of crying when you're like, this is so sad. And then people, some things depress you to the point where it pushes past crying into hysteria. When hysteria, I start laughing. And that's me crying in laughter. That happens a lot to me. Um, I laugh at inappropriate death jokes, our, our dead dad jokes, because my, my, my father passed away. Whoa, you shouldn't be laughing at the fact that your father's dead. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not laughing at my father's dead. I'm laughing at the things that I never do anymore with because my father's dead. And that just is hysterical because I, I either have to laugh at it or I have to be really sad at, about it. Watching a lot of comedians do this where they turn something really sad and they make it into something really funny has really taught me the importance of being able and capable of turning something depressing into something laughable because it really teaches you how to approach life without getting sucked into the sad 
state of the world that we're in right now and instead we can just laugh at the like the hypocrisy or the like the, the reasons we're getting separated for no for no reason because it, it really is sad and I love everyone in my life and everyone who got me to the place I am. That's it for this video. I just really wanted to share the message of laughing at yourself. If you done something embarrassing, I'm gonna share an embarrassing story at the end of this video. But please, if you if you did something embarrassing and you want to share it with me, please leave it with me. I I could do I do a, a laugh, uh, use the laugh because of something that you did that you're you're proud of now and you can let, look back and laugh at it. Um, here I'll, I'll share some things on stage. Uh, I played Shmi in uh, Peter Pan, and one of the funniest things I ever did was is I was supposed to uh, react to the fact the crocodile was on stage and coming after me. Well, I flew myself backwards, but then I flew myself backwards. I, my mic pack fell out of my pants and hit and hit the stage, and I was like, "Oh my god!" That literally sounded like I just pooped myself. So literally, I had to uh, swoop down and carry my microphone in my hand like a little baby and like scurry off stage. So it kind of looked like I was a little like a little like like a little fresh ba like like Bambi when he was first born. He doesn't know how to walk. It's one of the, like the funniest things I ever saw in my life, and uh, something I'm really proud of. I mean, I was embarrassed of at the time. But here's another thing that was embarrassing to me that led to something positive. Um, first time in the haunted house, um, I was really bad at it. First three days I played a werewolf and I was terrible. I was like, Meow. that's not a werewolf, that's a kitty. But I did that because I didn't know what I was doing. And then um, I was embarrassed because there was a guy named Woody there and I really wanted to impress him because he was somebody who everybody wanted to impress because he really had a good aspect of what horror was. I was in the first house one night and he went through and I was embarrassed because he shook his head as he left my room and I was like, I can never let him come through this to my room again and be like shake his head at my acting. So I stepped it up, I, so I stepped it up, pushed myself further and I embarrassed myself a couple of times but eventually it led to something really good and it led me shed free of uh, the shell I was living in to survive at the time and let me express a lot of my frustrations and angers I had and I wouldn't have had that if I, was, if I didn't embarrass myself and learn from it. Um, and that's something I really thought is like something I should be spreading right now. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like it. Um, leave, leave, leave a little thumbs up. You can always uh, subscribe. Um, and if you are subscribed, why not you know touch a little uh, bell button on the bottom right hand side of the screen so you're alerted when I post more videos. Thank you guys so much. And as always, laugh at yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bye!